We are going to look at one too many relationship in Superbase with Postgres. It's super simple. What is one too many? Basically, one item in table A is related to many item in table B. For example, one user has many posts. To go faster, we are going to use AI to create a new table called users. And what we're going to do just after, we are going to create a new table called posts. Once it's done, we are going to insert fake data and we are going to insert fake users with actually fake posts. And then we are going to insert fake posts. I'm going to click on run. It's going to create a table and insert the fake data. And we are good. If we go to the table editor, suddenly we can see that we got the two table without any RLS policy, but we don't care so far. So now, how do we get all the posts for each user? Let's use a simple SQL query. I'm just going to delete all of that and I'm going to select the user's name, post content from users. And here we do what we call a join. We join all the posts on user ID where the post got the same user ID. I'm going to click on run and suddenly we can see that we've got here two uh, names with two posts and we got here Bob, Bob with first post. This gives us each user and their post. Let's do a last explanation. Let's fetch the data in JSON format. Because with the SDK of Superbase, you can do exactly the same in JavaScript or any other language. So here, I'm going to select the user's name. I'm going to use JSON aggregate extension. I'm going to pass the post content as post from the users. And then I'm going to do a left join on the post on user ID post. And I'm going to group them by user ID. I'm going to click on run. And what I'm going to have here is the answer exactly like I would fetch it from the SDK on JavaScript, for example. I'm having Alice and I'm having all the posts of Alice. And here, Bob got only one post. OK, so one parent, many children, one user, many posts, foreign keys is linking the data. SQL queries helps you to re retrieve the related data or you can use the SDK if you want to.